to talk to you now about one of the worst movies I've ever seen. In fact, a movie that is so bad it's almost inexplicable because it's bad in strange ways. You sit there looking at the screen and saying, what is going on here? What did they think that I would think about this movie? The film stars Martin Short as a little boy. Here he is making life hell for his uncle, played by Charles Grodin, because little Martin wants to go to the dinosaur park, and when his uncle won't take him, he spends all of his time playing sadistic, practical jokes on him. This is my nephew, Clever. This is, say hello to my boss, Mr. Ellis. Oh, isn't he a cute little fella? <laughs> Hi, Sonny. Good morning, Mr. Ellis. My, that's the bestest looking wig I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That's 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 not a wig. Please. Oh. You said it was a wig? No, no, no. You, you called it a rug, too. No, 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 no. You misunderstood me, son. I never said you were a wig, sir. Good. I guess it's supposed to be funny that Short is playing a little boy, but doesn't he look weird here? Doesn't he look odd? What are we supposed to think about? I'm not sure. If you even look at me funny, if you do one thing that I find weird, which is, you know, like your middle name, see, honey, you're doing it right now. Can you just act like a human boy for one minute here? Look at me like a person. You can't do it for more than a few seconds. Look at me like a human boy. Grodin's fiancée is played here by Mary Steenburgen, and she has her doubts about marriage because she doesn't think that he likes kids. So he pretends to be nice to little Clifford in order to prove that he does like kids, but his patience wears thin after he's sent to San Francisco by Clifford on a wild goose chase. You said that you were a simple-minded moron. Sarah's father called me a moron? A simple-minded moron. And Sarah's father put the lipstick in my pocket. Yes. Why would he do that? Because he hates you. I don't know why. I saw the movie in a theater with about 150 other people, and they all just stared at the screen in total stone silence, not only not laughing, but almost stupefied by the sights that they were seeing. It's very hard to relate to this movie on any known level. I give it half a star, and I'm Roger Ebert.